there's two parts. We're going to play the story of Stuff because they covered it a lot better. But this was from Stuff, part of the stand-up where Tova was trying to hold uh, Nicola Willis's feet to the fire over the ferries. It is still ongoing. And the rumour mill is going crazy at the moment that there is a um, there is cracks in the coalition around this and that mm. they can't get Winston to agree to what they want to do because Winston wants a rail-enabled ferry. Of course, the conspiracy theorists... I would probably jump on this conspiracy, are also saying that perhaps it's because they're all vaxxed. No, I'm just kidding about that. Uh, it's because that maybe the other two parties want to pri- want to privatise, and obviously Winston's pretty anti that. So they're not figuring it out, and they're not doing very good at avoiding the question. So let's have a have a 60-second crack at Tova having a go at the Minister of Finance over the ferries. Yes, uh, across the three parties and the... Co- That's going to be at the start, shall we? That would be a nice um, idea. Clarify on the ferries. Sorry, have ministers got all of the advice that they that, that you need, or are you still waiting on further advice? Have you got everything you need? We're continuing to um, take advice. Right. Has, has New Zealand First told it? Is New- you know, you know, they're lying when you, a national party member says we're continuing to take advice. They don't take advice off anyone yeah. ever, ever, and they are now apparently pretty keen to take advice rather than answer the question. New Zealand First holding this up. Uh, we're continuing to take advice as ministers. Ministers are all engaged in the process uh, across the three parties in the coalition. Uh, and are they we all aligned? Are testing they... proposals, asking questions, making sure that the decisions we make are based on good information and good advice. Ministers are all engaged, but are ministers... Decisions have to be made based on good advice. So, you know, it becomes less believable when every other stand-up, they've been, yes, we get advice, but we don't have to take it. Is all aligned? Are the coalition parties aligned? As I say, we haven't had a final cabinet discussion, so it would be premature to make any assessment of that. Is there some kind of conflict within cabinet about agreeing on those options, or what's taking so long? Uh, We're giving those uh, recommendations proper advice, proper consideration. We're taking a range of advice from our own officials. Okay, and what's the hold-up? Uh, we're making sure we get this right. The last government didn't. Can we get can we get a sense as the, oh. as the time? How much do you think those words will come back to bite her in the ass? We're making sure we're going to get this right. The last government didn't. When they're going to spend more than three billion dollars and get a lesser product, how is that going to look? When they've just said we're making sure we get this right, you know, it'll come back. We'll get to the end of this. When we might get a decision. Yes, you'll hear a decision this year. There you go. So there's another part of the street which actually then the story on stuff. Uh, which was on TV3 tonight, which I want to play. But first first reactions from you, sir? I cannot wait for this very thing to absolutely blow. Like, I will personally not let Nicola Willis away with this ever. Because mm. mm. they are going to have to announce at some point how much money we had to pay to break this contract. Yeah. And then they're going to have to tell us how much money it cost to get new replacement ferries yeah and then we're going to be able to compare those ferries with the irex project with what we got yeah like they they have doomed themselves with this i i'm kind of i i'm kind of a little bit torn over this because you know much like i guess you're saying i i i vibe with them face planting but the reality is we the voters the public of New Zealand are going to lose. And I don't vibe with that, yeah. you know? So I kind of go, oh, can't wait till they embarrass themselves. But then I think about it and I go, if only they could have the the maturity to take a step back and go, guys, we fluffed this up something serious. We need to go back to, to Hyundai and see what we can work out because actually that was the best. Yeah, it's never going to happen. Even if they did do that, Hyundai would say, why would we give you a product today based on you know four-year-old um, prices? So on one hand, I go, it's going to be hilarious watching them face plant. But I think actually more than that, I'm just gutted that this is going to be a, this is going to be an absolute nightmare for New Zealand having a product purchased, which is going to cost more than the other ones were and be far, far, far more inferior for the next 40 years. That's what they've done. They've screwed public transport on the on the straight for 40 years it, that's it's the what only they've thing done. That, it's the only thing that national's good at in the long term is making generational damage through their fuck ups yeah. um i i think look th- this is here this is how like there's there's a lot of 
people that what's a good metric for the for the fact that the country's going in the right direction and things are going well i will tell you right now what that metric is is that this show becomes 30 minutes <laughs> a tight yeah. 30 minutes nothing to complain and, about and, and maybe half of that is us talking about what tv shows we're watching we're not there yet yeah we're still hitting regularly 90 minutes an hour, hour long show so yeah. there's your um that was uh tova uh in the stand-up today and then of course that got turned into a story uh on three this evening let's have a look well, after a string of problems with our tired old Cook Strait ferries, we're still no closer to a decision on how the government plans to replace them. And that is because before negotiating a new deal, the finance minister has to do some deal-making with her own coalition partners. There you go. Here's Jenna again. When the Aotearoa ran aground in June, the shiver that was running up the spines of passengers spread all the way to the Beehive. Just six months earlier, the Finance Minister made the call to cancel the contract for replacement ferries, known as the IREX project, due to cost overruns. And still, we have no idea when or if any new ships will be ordered. I think there should be a rule in politics that you are not allowed to stop or cancel something until you have a replacement sorted out, whatever it is. Oh. You know, like, I'm, I'm, I know we're not talking about American politics, but, you know, um, Donald Trump is brilliant at going, I'm going to have a much better healthcare system than Obamacare. What is it going to be? You'll see. When they tried to get it cancelled last time he was in and, you know, John McCain did the famous thumbs down, um, he didn't have anything sorted out as to what would be next. So you can't actually vote on how is this going to be better so I think they should put an official or unofficial rule in that if you're going to stop something, you need to have the replacement ready to go for the public to know. The public needs to need to go, yes, we're with you, National. Yes, we're with you, Labour, because we agree we think that solution is better than what's offering. But they never do it, and it's always the voters, it's always the the, the taxpayers that lose out on it. It, it, it. it frustrates the crap out of me so much will deliver it. Well, there has been a lot of consideration happening and when Cabinet has made final decisions, we will announce them. That's because, as revealed by Stuff, the cold... Did you get that? What she's saying is, I don't know. We'll let you know when we know. But at the moment, I don't know. Coalition partners are not all sailing toward the same solution. What are the three positions of the Coalition? Uh, uh, there is no position. Nicola Willis admitting the conversations are happening party to party, the still at the negotiation the phase before it even gets <laughs> into a shape that can be taken to Cabinet to decide on. There's no formal proposal yet. There Nine are, months off. There is a formal proposal and it's been discussed between Ministers. They have wasted, question mark, how many millions of dollars uh, whilst we... Carmel. Hundreds. Exactly what I was going to say. The exact word hundreds choice. Of millions Hun of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. A delay. Part of the reason the mega ferries were cancelled was due to the cost of the portside infrastructure required. They're the not cancelled ferries were to be rail enabled, and one coalition partner in particular is big on rail. Would Martyr Jones, man of the regions, champion of rail, ever let ferries be bought that weren't rail enabled? As I said, uh, we'll address that issue uh, when. The rangate, when the Rangatira Winston Peters is back in the country. Whereas another is big on privatising state-owned assets and enterprises. Exposition has long been that we should have a mixed ownership model for SOEs like Kiwi Rail. The independent advisory group said... Nicola Willis is in the, on the ninth floor pulling her hair out because one partner is going, they've got to be rain enabled. The other partner is going, only if it's a PPP, and they're going... We're having our feet held to the fire every day. Can we please make a fucking decision on this? And you know what? You you go to bed with the devil, mate. You know, you gotta gotta pay your dues. That's what you're finding out right now. If you go with any means to gain power, which Luxon did do, any means to gain power, then at some stage it's gonna bite you in the ass. And it's biting you in the ass right now, Chewy. Do you think that they will put two and two together here? Now, cast your mind back, people. Cast your mind back to the election when New Zealand first were polling under the threshold. They were not getting a sniff in. It was ACT and National until Luxon refused to rule them out. That opened up the door. People flocked to, well, flocked is probably too descriptive a word for they got their the, they got their walking frames out. The, they went up the with their walking infirm frames. and the medically dubious. <laughs> uh to to run to um, new zealand first and that's what put them in this position like if luxon had shut the fuck up 
or just said, yeah, I'm not working with someone that's got as many kooks around him as, as, as Winston Peters. New Zealand first would not be there. I, I am firm in this belief they would not be there, yeah. and it would have just been national and act agreeing to privatise the ferries. Yeah, and that's it would the have thing. been done I mean, by now. Winston always talks about being the handbrake, and Labour looked at it like, oh, my God, he was the handbrake. But now there might be many New Zealanders on the left going, thank God he's there to be the handbrake. So, you and know, I, I guess that. that's... I that's Winston. It. He's always said that, and maybe maybe it's proving true. I mean, to have it not be rail enabled would be the biggest mistake in the world. The loss of productivity, the cost getting off a train, going onto a truck, going onto it, getting off that truck, and going onto a train again, is just nonsensical. It's utterly ludicrous. So I hope how, you stick by it. How do you feel about the media constantly describing IREX as mega theories? Well. They're bigger than the ones we've got kind, now. It, it, as you heard, it kind of fucks me off. Because they're not mega theories. They're just appropriate theories. Modern theories. Yeah. They're not mega theories. It's not like we bought a P&O cruise ship, gilded it, and put it into action. <laughs> like, That's what you it, want, though. Second hand Corolla. It's, it's, just a, it's just a more appropriate theory. Yeah. Um, yeah. And look, two times in one night, we we sung the praises of David Seymour in our first story. And I guess we're singing the praises right now of Winston Peters and, and people who say we live in our echo chamber. You're, you're probably right most of the time, but we're also fair when we need to be, when something is done by people on the right, by politicians on the right, that warrant a congratulatory golf clap. Well done. Mm. Well done, sirs. It up to find a ferry solution recommended Kiwi Rail should no longer run the Cook Strait ferries. If it didn't end up with Kiwi Rail, would it be a bottom line for you that the ferries remained in public ownership? Uh, no, look, let's just tie her. There'll be a host of options put on the table, but New Zealand first. A host of options. So we're going from no options, Nicola Willis saying there is an option, to uh, Shane Jones going, well, there's, you wait and see, there's going to be as many options as there are stars in the sky. Commitment to Kiwi Rail is beyond so, capital. So an option is to have them in private ownership then? Uh, no, that's not what I said. No, no, no. But is there another public ownership option? Possibly. Is there another public ownership option that you were considering? Look, I'm not going to address any hypotheticals. As soon as we're in a position to make a public announcement about this, we will. Shane Jones has said there might be. Good on current commitment is to announce a solution by the end of this year there you go Chewy. so this very things is you know i said the other day about uh winston peters the reading the cats meow 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 could be his you know his undoing it could be his sarah palin i can see russia from my from my porch which he didn't actually say that's actually a line out of snl but it got given to her and got, got owned she owns it now uh this 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 is theirs this is the thing that you know, is go is going to stick with them for a very, very, very long time. And when, and I'll say this as a prediction, and I could be wrong. I was wrong about the poll shifting with Kamala Harris, wasn't I? I could be wrong, mm -hmm. but I'll say this. When we get a more inferior service for more money than Labour had budgeted out, you just watch how that sticks, how bad that's going to be for them then. Shall we? Or, or summer holidays, Pat. Christmas school break, one of those ferries goes down. Not goes down. Not goes down. It's not the Titanic. Stops working. Loses power. Uh, the crew goes on strike. Uh, yeah. Engine blows up. Yeah. That sort of thing. It, it's just, it, it, it immediately lands in your office, Nicola. And it's, 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 it's your fault because we would have had the IREX by now. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's yeah. the thing. And I, and I was honest the other day, like I'm looking to take the ferry across in February. Um, we wouldn't have had the new ferries by then, but, you know, the following February, yeah. Whereas now we've got nothing. Mm -hmm. We go to the back of the queue and we probably won't see anything till 2030, 2032, something like that. And we would have been seeing them in 2026, 2027. So them going, I don't know, too much money, let's do something else with no plan is going to cause, it's going to result in us having a lesser product for the next 40 freaking years and take a lot longer to get here. So what's going to happen is when they do break down the current ones, even though 
even though when they break down today, we wouldn't have had the theories, but it's just going to highlight how little time the current theories have left. Yes, we know, Nicola, that the theories wouldn't have been here by today with that breakdown, but this is just highlighting how poor these theories are doing, and you have just stretched out the time they have to keep running. That's what it highlights, Joey.